We're here with John Prizzo uh, with uh, Qi Wireless, and uh, we're going to be going over just a couple questions, asking you uh, about the current market and uh, what you guys are doing in 2016. So uh, how is Qi doing in comparison to you know, some of the other standards that have been in the wireless, mar wireless charging market uh, in the last couple of years? Well, I'm not sure anyone else is actually in the market. We have over a thousand products in the market that are registered and 150 million products that are being used by consumers worldwide uh, of all sorts and types, uh, all kinds of use cases. There's 28 models of cars now, for yeah. example. Uh, there are restaurants, McDonald's is rolling it out, restaurants around the world, Marriott hotels are rolling it out, Ibis. So how's it going? It's been an awesome year. It's just growing. It's more than doubling every year. Um, you know, anything that's wireless charging is compatible with Qi. It might be multi-mode in a couple of cases because those, uh, those folks are being careful and conservative, but wireless charging is basically a Qi function. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, you guys obviously had a great year, a lot of new partners, things like that. Uh, how close do you think Qi charging is to becoming a standard in smartphones, tablets, and other devices. I know it's in a few brands, but what are you guys doing to push that front and get into you know, LG and some other brands that maybe haven't adopted it yet? There are very few uh, phones that have not adopted it. We're in over 90 different models of phones. People didn't necessarily know that. Um, one of the things we've done is, well, we've been around for a long time, so we've learned a lot of lessons about what works and what doesn't. The early parts, the early Qi uh, devices could have worked a little bit better. We're about on our fourth generation now. They work great, and there's lots of options. One of the things that really helped that was we don't, our members have agreed, I should step back. The Wireless Power Consortium doesn't make anything. We make a standard, right? We're a not-for-profit engineering group. But our members have all agreed to work together, and they, there is no royalty charge. There's no cost to put it in a phone. I don't think anyone else does that. In fact, I'm pretty sure no one else does that. And so the phone makers have had a chance to help us perfect the technology, and they, they do so at a price point that allows them to make it commercially viable. Consequently, we're in lots of phones. We're, we're the only, if, it, there's, if there's a phone out there with wireless charging, it's Qi compatible uh, as, as a result. Awesome, awesome. So with 2016 and, uh, well, late 2015, there's a lot of phones that came out with uh, USB Type-C. Yeah. They, they have the quick charging features. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys doing to match that and bring Qi to the, the quick charging arena? I love fast charging. My phone has fast charging. It happens to be a USB micro version too. But we think that was a great innovation and it works very well with wireless charging. What we did, what we've been working on for the last several years, is high power Qi. So you, now you can charge your phone wirelessly at a fast rate. So USB 3 is great, but wireless fast charging is greater. So when are you guys coming to market with that this year and when, when do you plan on that? It's out. So it's out. So we have a lot of examples here. Of 50, it takes 15 watts to do a fast charge. Qi up until now has been five watts. So the 15 watt chargers are now available. We have several companies that, that have a variety of, of styles, multi-coil so you can move it around in a large area, uh, you know, lower cost ones where you just set it on top and it works, but they're charging now at 15 watts, a high rate, and so you get the best of both worlds. For example, in a McDonald's, which is deploying Qi right now, or in the 25 or 28 different cars, they're using 15 watt transmitters so that in the time you've got to say, get your McDonald's down and head back to work, or the 20 minute commute you've got, you're fully charged using wireless charging. That's awesome. So are, are many phones, I, I know Nokia, um, I know that you know Yahweh, we have uh, OnePlus and all these other brands that are adopting it into their phones. Uh, do they support the, the fast charging, the quick charging with, through Qi yet, or is that still, are you guys still waiting for that to come out from the OEMs? The OEMs are developing it now. I don't know of any phones on the market today that have put in the 15 watt or 12 watt or 9 watt, whatever it is, above 5 watt receiver. Haven't seen it yet. I know it's in development. You can get cases and you can get external devices. It tends to work that way. It's easier to have an external device because it's immediate, but then you're plugging something in. Um, but at least you don't have to plug it in the wall or find an AC outlet. 
at least you just have this little thing to carry around. But we're seeing the next generation this year is to have phones that have that already built in. Well, thanks a lot. We, we love Qi. We have it on, on our devices. So uh, you guys are doing some great stuff, and I appreciate you taking the time to do this interview with us. Um, yeah, we're looking forward. So you're thinking that this year, 2016, we're going to have the fast charging on phones, on newer devices anyway, and you guys are rolling out to you know, quite a few different things. Uh, what's the plan after this? You know, the forecast you know, for 2017, 18, uh, where do you guys see wireless charging going in the future? It's pretty clear at this point, this year, because of the great year we had last year, I mean, it tripled in volume. We went from 50 to 150 million units in the market um, to 4,000 different locations. So it's just exploded worldwide. We see that continuing at the same rate. Uh, and what we've seen is because of the critical mass that we've hit in terms of consumer volume, we're seeing that any new product that comes out with wireless charging that's intended to be compatible with a wireless charging network infrastructure in the world, it's got to be Qi compatible. It might be multi-mode, it might be Apple's version plus Qi, whatever it is, but it has now to be Qi compatible because that has now become the, the standard. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks for doing this interview with us, John. My pleasure. Have a good show. Well, you too.